Okay guys, in this Motion 4 tutorial, we're going to talk about the new link behavior. I was showed how to do it in a real simple way, and I'm going to show you guys the way I was showed how to do it. Okay? So the first thing that I'm going to do here to demonstrate this is I'm going to build a little scene. I'm going to go down and get my rectangle tool, and I'm going to draw out a circle. Like so. I'm going to go to my inspector tab under the shape. I'm going to change the color to red. And I'm going to check the outline. Okay, so now we have this open our layers tab also. So now we have this circle. So now let's go back up to our create shape tool and select the line tool. And I'm going to create just a line like this. I'm going to make sure it's straight. And I'm going to turn the width down right here under the shape tab under the style button. So now we have that. And I'm going to make sure the circle is on top of the line in my layers group. And now, as you can see, we have this little red button at the bottom of the line. Okay, now. It might not look like a whole lot right now, but this is going to demonstrate the link behavior really well. Okay, so now we have that. Let me go in and bring in a movie. I want to bring in this Yosemite movie here. And I'm going to shrink it down by going to the inspector and scaling it down just a little. Okay, and I want to blur this image out, okay? But I want to blur it with this with this lever, okay? And let me let me demonstrate how I'm going to do that. So um what I want to do is I'm going to set my out point to about right here. About like that. That looks pretty good. I'm going to cut my clip off there, cut my circle off there, and I'll cut my line off there. That way our clip ain't quite as long. Okay, so now we have our clip in there and everything. So, first let's animate our little button. So I'm going to grab the circle tab. And I'm going to go to, you can do this one of several ways. You don't have to do it my way. Um, you can do it however you like. I'm going to, you can use a throw behavior or a move behavior. or I'm going to use a motion path. Okay. And that's going to give me this little red line here. And I'm going to line this red line up right with that white line there. Like that. Now, as you can see, the motion path is right even with that white line. And now you can see all we got is just moving right up the moving right up the tree there, like a like a lever or a slide button. Okay? So now we want this button to control the blur on this uh, movie here. So that's no problem. Let's select our Yo Yosemite movie here. And I'm going to go up to Add Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur. And I'm going to turn the blur down to zero. Okay? So now we have this Yosemite clip. We have our little lever over here built and animated. So now we need to link the blur behavior to our little slide here. That way when this little button slides up, it will increase our blur. So, if you go to the Filters tab under Yosemite, you'll see there's a Gaussian Blur. And under Gaussian Blur, we turned the amount to zero. Well, I'm going to right-click that amount, and I'm going to scroll down, and I'm going to select Link. And this will bring up our Link behavior in our parameters box, okay? So, of course, the source object is going to be our circle, okay? Because that's what we want it to follow, okay? And as you can see, apply it to filters, Gaussian Blur amount. It's all set up for us, but we need to pick the source parameter. And since this little red circle, as you can see when I go through the timeline, is animating up, that is the Y direction, okay? It's going up in the Y direction. If it was going back and forth, you'd want to use a different direction, but since we have it going up and up, we're going to use the Y direction, okay? So all we have to do is, we need to go in here to our compatible parameters, properties. As you can see, you can set it to anything. Roundness, feel, outline, feather, behaviors, which is the motion path behavior. But I'm going to use property, transform, position, Y. Okay? And now when I play this, you'll see our clip goes blurry as the little slider goes up. If you want it to start getting blurry sooner, use our Y offset. 
now as you can see after I took the Y offset up it's gonna start getting blurry a lot sooner okay now we have a mix over time custom mix I'm gonna have an ease in and ease out I'm gonna change it to ease in ease out that way it slowly actually I'm just gonna change it to ease in that way it eases in okay and just keeps blurring until it gets to the end so that is a real real good example of how the link parameter works we linked our blur parameter to the movement of this slider and as the slider slides up it blurs our picture okay so if the slider was to go down you can see it gun it unblurs so that's a real good example I think of how the link parameters work let me show you another real simple example of how you can almost use this link behavior as a tracking tool once again I'm gonna draw a circle and I'm gonna make it red like before make it easier to see and give it an outline and I'm also gonna go up here and create a box okay like so we can make the color of this box bluish and we can also give it an outline and let me open up my layers tab I want to make sure my circle is sitting on top of my rectangle okay so now what I'm going to do is I want to select my circle and I'm going to once again I'm going to add a behavior basic motion motion path now this will give us a motion path and I'm going to click on this motion path in a couple of places and give us some control points and I'm just going to make our motion path a little weird here just something different okay that looks okay I guess that'll work it don't have to be nothing special here I just want to demonstrate how this is gonna work so now when I hit play you can see that little red circle goes right along okay but if we select our rectangle go to properties under the position if we right click and select link and drag that circle right into that source object and hit play now my blue block blue box is following right along with my red circle and you can offset it in the Z let me pause it here so you can see as you can see that offsets everything before the um, circle was right in the center there now you can see there we can turn the scale up or down like so but no matter what you do they're linked. So there's two simple examples of how the link parameter works, the new link parameter works in Motion 4. Hope you guys have learned something, and we'll see you next time.